Before I get to this smash watch, I need to bring this up. I do not talk about leaks in my channel. The reason is because there is a chance it might be fake and that it would contradict what Nintendo is going to show off, so you're never going to get leaks from yours truly. Also involving stages, it seems that every stage will be unlocked from the start. A bit of a disappointment since I like the thrill of unlocking content, but still, it's a trade-off to unlock nearly every character in the series. Also, there will be about 103 stages in the game. That's a lot, even compared to the last Smash game. Now, I could talk more about the means of customizing the stages, like disabling the stage hazards or what's new, but I know what you're all here for. I'm here to talk about the new characters. Ladies and gentlemen, the N team has reunited. Simon Belmont is confirmed for Smash Brothers Ultimate as the 8th guest character. He will bring his Morningstar tip Vampire Killer to Smash though, it does resemble the combat cross from Lords of Shadow. He also brings an assortment of sub-weapons like the Axe, Holy Cross, and Holy Water. His final smash is a familiar item crash, Grand Cross. But he's not the only Castlevania character to show up. Joining him will be Richter Belmont, the main hero from Dracula X, Rondo of Blood from the PC Engine. He will serve as the lighter Echo Fighter of Simon. Personally, I find this a bit of a surprise since I would never expect him to show up, but this raises the question, what Echo Fighters will represent other third-party characters? Something tells me Shadow is going to show up as one. Speaking of which, two other Echo Fighters are confirmed as well. The first character is Krom, who was knocked out of the last smash by Captain Falcon. He will serve as an Echo Fighter to Roy of all characters. However, his up B ability looks like it's Ike's Ether ability. This basically means Echo Fighters can have moves with other existing characters. The second fighter, Dark Samus, who previously served as an assist trophy in the last game, will join in as an Echo Fighter to Samus. This Phazon Enhanced Incarnation of Metroid Prime will serve as a powerful adversary of Samus Aran, as if Samus already had one to worry about in Smash. Boy, the Metroid franchise is really getting some good representation with this game. My big disappointment about this Direct is that some characters I was hoping for are relegated to the Sis Trophies. Zero, Knuckles, Crystal, Shovel Knight, and even Alucard will only appear as Trophy Summons. A disappointment since some of these characters would have been perfect as playable characters. Especially Zero. That being said, it looks like we're getting Rathalos from Monster Hunter as an assist trophy and a boss character, with a Monster Hunter stage as well. Which means there's a chance we might get a new Monster Hunter rep as a playable character though, that's just wishful thinking. Anyway, it looks like we're done with this portion of Smash Watch. No wait, I lied. We got another character folks! Having not been seen in a video game for a long time, King Karul reignites his rivalry with Donkey Kong as the newest playable character. He will bring his abilities from the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy games on the Super Nintendo, plus a few extra abilities from Donkey Kong 64, especially in his final Smash. Talk about taking the bite out of the competition! Let's hope we get another Donkey Kong rep in this game. Maybe Dixie Kong, or maybe Funky Kong as an Echo Fighter. Smash Brothers Ultimate is looking to be the biggest Smash Brothers game ever. We'll try to continue our coverage of the newest entry in the Smash Brothers Legacy. Who else will join in on the Smash? Only time will tell. Anyway, I've got nothing left to say except the following. Settle it in Smash!